Yo, what is up, you two? My name's Aaron. Today we're playing on an amazing map called Malibu Drive, and basically you can choose who you want to play as every time you play. As you see, we got Tony Stark here, and they all have like their own uh, like weapons of sorts. So you got Tony's cell phone. I'm not too sure what it does right now. Not too sure. Maybe it's a hacker. Uh, we'll be him. We'll be him. Maybe it is a hacker. Um, Jarvis's systems are offline. Oh, so I bet you I could turn into the Iron Man. I do like that. I think I'm going to play as Tony Stark. Uh, so yeah, you can be almost any superhero you want to that's over there. And this is actually a beautiful and huge map, in fact. It is just, it's ridiculous in size. It's probably the biggest map ever made before on any Call of Duty World at War custom map ever made really and today let's just get into the video this is a lifestyle commentary that means i am going to be talking as i'm playing i guess you could say and today we're gonna have some life stories we're gonna have uh, a few uh some embarrassing ones or actually i think there's only gonna be two but um so first let's just talk about youtube and as you can see now and probably guess, I'm, I can talk to people, I can talk in front of people, to people, in front of a lot of people, I'm, I would call myself a good public speaker, but, you know, it, it goes without mentioning that I, yes, I have been bad before, like, I've definitely not been the greatest public speaker before, uh, let's see what this phone does, see if I can hack, hmm, Servers must be offline. We're, we're going to go into the... We're going to go into the house. That's what we're going to do. Um, as you can see, over there, it's like a huge city. And right up there is Tony's house. We're going to go in there first, I believe. Uh, like I said, this is a live commentary. So bear with me through the madness. What is this? Return armor to... Oh, oh so you can switch characters. Actually, yeah. I think you can switch characters anytime you want, which I think is pretty cool if you ask me. So let's get into it. So I haven't always been a, a good public speaker or being able to talk in front of people. And that was mainly because of an accent that I used to have. I'm from North Carolina. So as you might imagine, I have a, a pretty heavy accent. Uh, but over the years, I'm glad I've actually grown out of that and had whatever you can call this right now, just a, a neutral. But I know people from other places might say, yeah, it still sounds pretty Southern. But I guess, um, comparatively, it's not, if that makes sense at all. So uh, let's just get into the video. So in sixth grade, we had a play, and everyone had to be in it. It was a mandatory thing. And whoa, what was this? This doesn't look natural. Of course it doesn't. There's cars covering your private driveway. Oh man, I hmm, I should probably have went and looked at that. Kind of looks like the mystery box over there. We might go down there. But we had this play that we all had to be in. I hated it. I really did. And I was bad at speaking. So I didn't really want heavy lines. I didn't want a lot of lines. I just kind of wanted to be there. You know what I mean? Just like just show up do what I had to do and go home so I found like the littlest amount of lines possible in the script and it happened to be a uh, a dishwasher person thing a dishwasher repairman that's what it was and I was supposed to come in and I was only there for like three scenes or something and it was like ma'am your dishwasher seems to be broken or something like that and I was supposed to pretend to fix it and then be like, okay, it's all fixed. And that was pretty much the sum of my lines. And you would think something that simple would be easy. But with me, I didn't really want to do it. I had a, a strong fear of speaking in front of a lot of people. So I tried to purposely forget. You know what I mean? Um, what is this? Oh. No way. Okay, this is awesome. I've never seen this before in this map, but um, I you would think that was easy and I could do that, but I tried to forget. I tried to, to say I didn't remember just so they would like either kick me out of the play or just be like, okay, Aaron, you, you've just 
we got to get you another part. And actually what happened was they ended up inventing a part for me. And basically I switched that part to someone else. I can't really remember who took it right now, but, um, it, it became, I became a mute, which a person that can't talk and I would rake leaves. But the thing was, is I had so much stage time because of that, because I would literally any time Oh my God, did you hear that voice track? Anytime that uh, that we were outside the script or whatever, the show was outside, it would, I would just be out there raking with my pen and pad. And every time I got done, I would write done down on the pad. And they would be like, oh, okay, you're done? Okay, good. And I would walk off. And it wasn't too bad. I mean, it was fun. I can't really, really recall exactly what the play was about, but it, it was all right. We had fun. Uh, it was good. I'm glad I cut it off my chest. And I was done with that mess. But really, that's where, like, the deep kind of, um, the deep fear of speaking really, really grasped me. And was like, you cannot do this. And, and I let it into me. And then the next time that I was faced with something like this, um, not really on scale, but I kind of started doing a lot more presentations in classes, and it, I just slowly got over it, although, like I said, I had a, uh, a heavy accent, so I wasn't really ready to talk to a lot of people outside of my comfort zone, being friends, you know, I, I wasn't ready to talk in front of people, but around 7th, or I think it might have been, no, it's definitely ninth grade, I don't know why, skip middle school, is ninth grade, um, or actually, no, whoa, definitely not ninth grade. Honestly, I cannot remember. I just, you know, YouTube was starting to be a big thing. And I was always like, yeah, I want to be a YouTuber, so on and so forth. And I think it was my junior year, maybe. It could have been my junior year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, junior year, right around this time, actually. Right around this time that we're in right here. One of my friends, Mr. NCSU Man, uh, gave me his HDP VR. And was like, yeah, well, you should just make YouTube videos, and there you go. You can use it to record. And I was like, cool. And I recorded, but I didn't talk. I didn't talk behind my videos because I didn't really want people to hear me. I thought it would be weird and stuff like that. But I could tell that my YouTube channel, in order for it to take off, I had to talk. So I started talking. And if you want to go way, way back, you can see, like, my review of the PS Vita or the unboxing of my two PS Vitas and you can really tell that my accent is alive and well and honestly up until like whenever I got my blue snowball microphone it was horrible like my entire channel was just it's so bad I'm surprised I even gained subscribers but we we got over that I grew up my accent changed a lot I would say and it's kind of how it is today so as our second story, like I said, this isn't scripted, this is all live. I really had no idea for a second story, so bear with me as I ramble on and think about something I could tell that kind of went towards this, maybe? I don't know. I'll, okay, let's talk about let's talk about prank calls. That kind of goes with it. Um, or some people call them crank calls. I mean, I've heard that before, but I'm not too sure uh, why it's called crank calls. But... Um, I used to love doing prank calls, especially in middle school. I thought it was the funniest thing ever. Like, what middle schooler doesn't, and lower, doesn't think prank calls are hilarious. It actually started with um, the 411 line. Um, I accidentally, someone told me, he's like, oh yeah, 411, you can ask them anything and they'll answer. And I just, I asked them some random crap and they answered and everyone laughed. And it was really funny. And, you know, it, it was okay. It was, oh, oh, we gotta use this right now. Come on, Iron Man. Jarvis service must be offline. Dang it. Okay, I don't really know what the uh, the the Avengers symbol down there does. Ooh, whoa! Can we go down into his basement? Mm, I think that might be where Jarvis is located. Um, but used to do those. But one of my favorite ones. We're gonna talk about my favorite prank call. I prank called a car dealership. And I was talking about like getting a new Jeep and I got him really excited that I was probably going to buy a yellow Jeep. It was like, oh yeah, we got your paperwork and everything. Everything's ready and just everything's set up for you. And it's, it became real. And I was just like, I had to end it quick. 
and he got so angry. And then also, like, I just kept got, getting transferred and stuff like that. But it was really, really funny uh, to me at that time. But something more recent, if you want something more recent, uh, actually just a few days ago, if you guys know what telemarketers are uh, or people that call you and they want, like, your credit card information and stuff, you know, just scam. People that scam you. Um, and they'll be like, oh, uh, congratulations, you won uh, a $500 Best Buy card. All we need is you to cover the shipping fee or something like that, which is all fake. I just want to let you guys know, never do that ever. If anyone calls you and says that you want an iPad or money to Walmart or something, it is fake. I just want to let you guys know that. So, you know, it was just a couple of days ago. Like, really, last week, maybe. And it's been, like, years since I've done one. And I got on there, and I told him, he was like, he was like, so, you won this. I was like, cool. And we talked about it for a little bit, and I was just talking to him. He's like, okay, what's your name? I was like, Bernie Sanders. And if you guys know, Bernie Sanders is running for presidency, or he might may or may not be now. I don't know, maybe if he dropped out of it or voted out. I don't know how it works, really. I don't keep up with politics, but he was like, okay, Bernie Bernie Sanders, and he asked me how to spell it, or he, he spelt it, he was like, is this correct, and I was like, yeah, that's correct, and, um, he is, he was like, so what's your email, it's like, Bernie Sanders 2017, and it just, it kept going, but the thing is, I was like, in a class right before it started, and so everyone was laughing, like, everyone was having a good time, it was super funny, it just, everyone enjoyed it, and it felt good, you know what I mean? It felt good to do a prank call at someone else's misfortune, which is it's pretty bad, but it, it just, it was, it was right, you know what I mean? It was fun, it was good. I mean, I know this video is not really what you guys have come to expect from my other, whoa, my other videos, but um, it's, it's a little different. So tell me if you guys like this. Uh, we're just going to keep playing real quick. I really kind of do want to keep playing. Um... A little bit more. Jarvis. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? Message Nick Fury? Okay. Ooh. Do I get to... We got Optimus Prime down here? That's cool. This is a cool map. I look forward to exploring this more. This is about all I've played of it, really. This is the furthest I've ever went. Um, especially on this side. I usually go on the other side and realize I don't have enough points uh, to play. Oh, 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 no, ah, oh, well, it ended a good time, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, I know it wasn't your typical video, I did ramble a little bit, uh, but whoa, look at this place, you're so horrible, play again and quit stinking it up, or stinking it up, that's good, hopefully you guys enjoyed this, I know it wasn't, um, like, informational or anything, but it was a little bit of my history, prank calls let me know down below what your favorite prank call that you've done was um or if you've done any and i don't know maybe we can talk about it. maybe i can compile those into a video maybe maybe i can uh make a video out of all of them or make a video from a prank call maybe i could do a prank call soon let me know down below what you guys want because in the end you guys are the important ones that's who i do it for let me know and hopefully i can call jarvis sometime get my suit ready but that's that's the end of this video fun little map um i do plan on playing this a little bit more it's just a huge map and it takes so much time ah uh, I, I do want to play this map i just Thank you guys for being you. Best subscribers out there. I will put my name next to it. You guys are awesome. I will see you tomorrow with a brand new video.